Hi, I'm Ina Jensen. I brought some of my favorite crosses from home to share with you today. Thanks for being here. This one uh, is on the top of a box that some friends of mine made and gave to me. I keep very special treasures in it. This cross I use at Christmas time. I even put a candle on the top. Now this cross is made of metal and I got it in Mexico and it has pictures of Jesus on the cross and the resurrected Jesus and it's hand painted. This one is made out of ceramics and it has the dove which is a symbol for the Holy Spirit. This one is very special to me. It's the St. James cross. There's a shepherd's hook on it and some seashells. And I used to teach at an Episcopal school called St. James, and it was a gift to me. This one I got in Mexico in a little village where people go to be healed. There's Jesus on the cross and a lot of different symbols called fetish symbols. This cross is made of wood and seashells. And my granddaughter, Lena, made it when she was in kindergarten. This is a cross that I also got in Mexico. It is um, Jesus' mother Mary, and on the bottom, these three crosses have Jesus on the cross. Now, sometimes you'll see that in churches, but the Episcopal Church, we like to have the cross without Jesus on it because we like to think of the resurrected Christ. This was a cross my mother wore. It's real dear to me. This is a very old cross, handmade of brass. This cross is very special to me. My grandmother gave it to me about 60 years ago. This is my favorite cross that I have. That was my butterfly. Um, and I've had it for a very long time too, probably about 25 years. And you see crosses all over the church. This is the Book of Common Prayer. So, I'm going to move into the Godly Play story now, which is about crosses. This is our church calendar, and you can see we're in the season of Easter. And I'm going to move this arrow one more. We're now in the fifth week of Easter. So, let's light our cross candle. We do that every time we get together, right? I know you wish you were here to light it. I wish you were too. So, here is the light. And Jesus is the light of the world. Now, today's godly play story is called The Crosses. And I have several crosses in this box. I'm going to tell you about each one. The first one is called the Latin cross, and you see this shape of cross more often. These are made of wood, and it's like the cross Jesus was crucified on. The second one is called the Celtic cross, sometimes the Irish cross, and it has the cross like Jesus, and then it has the circle for eternity or never-ending life. The next cross is the St. Andrew's cross. And Andrew was preaching the gospel and not popular. He was also crucified too on his missionary work. And he was crucified on a cross that was an X because he didn't want to be crucified on the same cross as Jesus. This is a Greek cross called the Taw, and uh, it's a T, and the letter T is Taw in the Greek alphabet, and it's called the Old Testament cross because Moses lifted a cross in this shape um, when he went to get the Ten Commandments. He lifted a serpent up on that cross. This is called the Budding Cross, and three buds are on each end, sort of like a flower growing. Three is very important in Christianity because it's the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. This cross is the Egyptian cross. 
Now, if you look at Egyptian art, you see this symbol. It is called the Ankh in, in Egypt, and it was a symbol for life. And the Christians in Egypt ad adopted this as their cross. This is called a Greek cross. And the Greeks wanted to design something that was very symmetrical. So unlike some of the crosses that have a longer part at the bottom, this one, all sides are even, the Greek cross. This cross is the anchor cross. And the anchor cross is very special too. And you might say, well, it just looks like an anchor. Well, the anchor was a symbol of hope. And the cross, you can see is part of the anchor. So there you have a lot of crosses that were created for different reasons many, many years ago. I wonder which cross you like best. I wonder which one means the most to you. I wonder if you designed your own cross, what it would look like. All right, now I'm going to change the light. So, the light is changed, and here is the smoke, which fills the room. It is like the Holy Spirit and comes into our hearts.